Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Hey guys, in this session we are going to look at the Docker architecture. So how your Docker works. Now the Docker architecture or Docker it follows your client server architecture. So it has the uh, client server setup and it consists of the below components. So it consists of a Docker client, it consists of a server and it consists of a REST API. So the Docker client is your CLI or your command line interface and this is what we use to interact with the Docker. So CLI or the Docker client is what uh, we will be using to run the Docker commands and uh, to interact with the Docker engine. Now these commands will be passed on to a, a Docker uh, server which is a, a daemon which is always running in the background. So your Docker server is a long running program and it is a daemon. And the communication between your Docker client and your Docker server is done by your REST API which acts as an interface between the Docker client and the Docker server. So these are the three main components or the three main parts of your uh, Docker architecture which is the Docker client, Docker server and Docker API. So when we talk about the architecture, we will have the local machine and we, uh, we will have an online host. Now within the local machine, we will be installing the Docker, which will give us the Docker client and the Docker daemon. So whenever we install Docker in the local machine, we get a Docker client, Docker daemon and the uh, interface between these will be the REST API. And uh, when coming to the online host, we will have a Docker registry. Uh, which in our case we will be using the docker hub you can also make use of other um, online registries but for our tutorial we will be using the docker hub now this docker registry consists of all the images that you can use to run your containers so uh, for example you can have the ubuntu image you can have the python image you can have the jenkins image you can have centos image you can have java image so likewise you'll have lots of images that are available in the docker hub and all these are public images so anybody can use them now when coming to the docker daemon uh, within the local machine we will have containers and uh, images so docker daemon will look for your images and containers within the local machine so when we run commands like your docker build or docker pull or your docker run uh, using the docker client which is the cli these commands will be passed on to the docker daemon by using the rest api so all the commands that we run on the uh, cli uh, is passed on to the docker daemon so let's say i run the docker pull command so let's say i'm pulling an image so uh, for example i'm running docker pull jenkins so what i'm telling is i want to download the jenkins image now this command will first uh, go to the docker daemon and uh, as a first step it will always check in your local machine so it will check in your uh, images list within your local uh, machine whether the image is available or not. Now, if the image is found within your local machine, uh, the image will be used and executed as a container. Now, if the image is not found, then Docker daemon will go to the Docker registry, which is your online host, search for the image and it will download it to your local machine and it will convert it will have it as a cache and then run your containers so the next time when i run the docker command so like something like let's say docker run my docker daemon will simply uh, search it in my local machine it will find the image and it will run the container so this process continues so every time i run the docker command on my cli the command will be passed on to the docker daemon the docker daemon will first check in my local machine whether i have the cache or not if the cache is not found only then it will go to the online registry and then download the image so this is uh, only for the first time once the image is downloaded the next time when i run or when i want to use the same image my docker daemon will simply pick it from the local machine so this is how your uh, docker architecture works and uh, these are the main components when we talk about your docker architecture 
that's all i have for this uh, session in the next session we will look at the various stalker components uh, what uh, your uh, what are the various components we have so i will see you in the next video